MLB the show's coverage of Major League Baseball is on the air. Should be a good one here this afternoon between the Chicago Cubs and the Pittsburgh Pirates. Digging in, Javier Baez. He will lead this one off today. And here's a ball hit in the air. And no one will track it down. The one two. Heading out towards shallow right. Under this one is Polanco, and he's got it for the first down. So one away here with the bases empty. And that'll bring up the multi gold glover, Jason Hayward. The one one is in there for the second strike. Wow, not sure what they're looking for right there, but that one was pretty much middle, middle, center cut. Tough pitch to take. Counts even to Hayward, two balls and two strikes. Grounded to the right. On to first, and there were two down. Here's Chris Bryant now, and he's definitely off to a fast start in the early part of the season. 1-1 is laid off for ball two. Now a swing and a softly hit ground ball. Throw on the bell at first and the side is retired. In now, Kevin Newman. It lead things off here in the bottom half of the first. Two and one. And it misses three and one now. Hitters count all the way. Here it comes. And he takes ball four. So the leadoff man is on here in the home half of the first in a scoreless ball game. So here's Adam Frazier. First chance for him here with a man on following the leadoff walk. And he lays off there ball four. So back to back walks have him in business here with nobody out. So the next to the plate for Pittsburgh, Brian Reynolds, with 10 runs batted in on five hits in the series. He's a guy to keep an eye on in this one. In front of the changeup, and he can't keep it fair. Two strikes on him now. Now a fastball, but that's easy to lay off, and it's back to even at two and two. Well, you don't need us to tell you. It's really starting to come down out there. I can't imagine the umpires will let this go too much longer if it doesn't ease up. Yeah, Matt, right now, this doesn't look too good. I, I wouldn't be surprised if we don't see the umpires come out and bring the ground crew out here. The infield, around the mound, and around the home plate area is really getting soaked and wet. And I can't anticipate this going on very much longer. So that'll bring up Josh Bell. It was a three-hit effort from him last night, so he was a big part of that victory. One finds the target on the outer half. It's one and two. Ball two. That was a tempting pitch to swing at right there. A big power guy like this really wants something that he can elevate and drive out of the ballpark. There's one that misses inside, and the counts run full now. Three and two. Mine to the right side. Hayward is there, two down. Up next for the Buccos, Colin Moran. He comes into this one just two for 12 in the series to this point. And it's two balls and two strikes now. Next pitch will be number 24 in this long first inning. Lifted down the line in left. And this will wind up a foul ball. You're lucky if you get one pitch a night right down the middle. Cannot be late on that fastball. Not close with the off-speed pitch taken for a ball. 
you can bet these hitters are taking note of what the guy on the hill is working with. A long at bat like this in the first inning can reveal a lot. Swing and he pops him up. And Baez will put this one away to retire the side. Here's the young catcher, Wilson Contreras. Two hits and 13 at-bats in the series so far. Grounded back up the middle. He's got it. Throw to first will be in time, and there's one gone here to start the second. The next hub up, Anthony Rizzo. He's ready for his first at-bat of this early season contest. Now here's a comebacker back to the mound. And he'll just flip this on to first for the second out of the inning. So in now for Chicago, Kyle Schwarber head to head against Chris Archer. The pitcher's own to me is a paltry one for 11. Seven strikeouts on the stat sheet as well. And it's fouled away. Another try at 2 2. Popped him up. Moran has room in foul territory makes the catch and that'll retire the side digging in Gregory Polanco a match up with John Lester now to lead off the inning now the 2 1 and he fouls this one off. He pulls this one into right. He dives. Did he catch that? He did. What a play there for the first out. Jacob Stallings will be the next hitter. Comes into this one with three hits and 11 at bats in the series. Just off the outside that time, laid off for a ball. Wow, I think the heart of this system is right on top of us because it is really coming down out there. This isn't an easy sport to play in the rain. Breaking ball well inside and taken for ball three. Cole Tucker, the number eight hitter here, waits on deck. Takes this the other way to right. And that's going to get down in front of Hayward for a base hit. Cole Tucker softly hit down to third likely no shot at two Kipnis but one's all they were ever going to get and the inning will continue now to the plate the pitcher Chris Archer throw over to first and he'll get back in standing Tucker the runner at first with two gone and another throw over keeping particularly close tabs on him One one on its way from Lester fouled away. Lester sets here it is on a ball and two strikes fouled off. Hit out towards second Kipnis is there. Throw in time and the side is retired. And that will bring in the Pittsburgh area native Ian Happ. 7 8 9, bottom of the order set to go here in the third. Now a swing and a miss, and he's behind one and two. Threw that fastball right by him. He had no chance to get the barrel to that one. Hot shot down the line. And this will stay inside the third base bag. A fair ball. And he will coast into second with a leadoff double. The second baseman, Jason Kipnis. So now to the plate, Jason Kipnis. Well above the letters with the fastball that time. 
And he can't catch the corner here, so he's behind three and one. Hitters count all the way. Here it comes. And he misses there for ball four. So runners are at first and second now with nobody out. John Lester. One one. Bun attempt is popped into foul ground. A bit of a surprise here as he's going to try to lay one down. One there. And he'll put this in his pocket and be content with just the one out. The best. Standing in, Javier Baez. And he's got runners at the corners here with only one gun. Two balls and a strike to Javi Baez. Cubs shortstop with a three and one count. Couldn't be a whole lot better situation to hit it now. Three and one, two on. He's got to be thinking he's going to get a pitch he can drive right here. There's the good fastball, and he can't catch up. Three and two. With two strikes now and a runner at first, do you go for the strikeout, or are you still looking for the double play ball? Good time to try to put the ball down in the strike zone. You can either get a strikeout or a potential double play ball. Strike three on a pitch in the dirt. Good job to corral this quickly as the runners hold on. So it's first and third with two away. And that'll bring up the multi-gold glover, Jason Hayward. And he pumps the fastball by him here. One and two now. But a good play by the first baseman to spear this one, and that'll retire the side. Digging in for his second at bat, Kevin Newman. He drew a walk his first time up. The 1 1 home. Turned on down the line. And a reach to his backhand, but he can't come up with it, and the leadoff man's aboard. At the plate now, Adam Frazier. One and two now as that one's fouled off. Nobody out, runner on first. This is swung on and popped up. Crossing into foul territory now behind third. Bryant is over and he's got it for the first out of the inning. Digging in the switch hitter, Brian Reynolds. He flew out in his last at bat. And a changeup couldn't get him to bite, and it's ball four. Next to bat will be the Pittsburgh cleanup batter, Josh Bell. Hit it hard, but lined out in his first at bat. Yeah, Matty, it's always a little frustrating when you square one up. You hit a solid line drive like you did, and all you have to show for it is a jog back to the dugout. That can get in your head for a little while. Now the 2-1. Ball is off his glove and it gets away. So now two men in scoring position. Bottom of inning number three, nothing, nothing our score. On the ground to third. Only play will be to first as we'll see our first run score here as this is a one-nothing ball game. So coming to the plate, Colin Moran, 0 for 1 for him here in this one. And he's a little too high with that one. Two balls and a strike. Sometimes it can be difficult for a pitcher. You're facing a guy that's not known to be a big stick in the lineup. Sometimes the toughest thing is to be aggressive and throw strikes. He's set. 
the 2-2. Two -two. For the guy in the mound, this is one of those innings where nothing comes easy. He's thrown a bunch of pitches, and this A.B. hasn't been any different. Definitely laboring at the moment. Goes the other way, and this is in the air out to left. Here comes a left fielder. He gets there to make the catch, and that ends the inning. Digging in next will be Chris Bryant. Grounded straight into the shift on the left side. Throw to first in time, one gone here in the fourth. Now the Cubs' four hole hitter, Wilson Contreras. He's 0 for 1 after grounding out in his only trip to the plate so far. Two and one. No runs, just one hit. No errors so far for the Cubbies. Nearly got the inside, but ruled the ball. This is where you cash your checks right here. Three one. You're one of the best hitters in the game. You live for situations like this. And it's up to a three two full count now. And that's low ball four. So a runner on first with one out now. And that brings in Anthony Rizzo. Anthony. Runner at first here, one man out. All even now, two and two. This is line to left. And that'll get down for a base hit. Stepping in now, Kyle Schwarber. And a changeup that just about got away from him there as that ran in a bit too far. I don't blame him for not coming over the heart of the plate. He circled this guy on the lineup card when he got to the yard today. He's been swinging one of the hotter bats in the game. So striding in, Ian Happ, as he's got a chance to tie this ball game up with that equalizing run just 90 feet away at third. Ready to deal. Here's the 1 1. Now an off speed pitch gets the outside. It's a cold strike. Left side, but well fouled. And that misses two and two. Everyone in the ballpark knows what the pitcher's intentions are in this situation. Great job at the plate to lay off a tough pitch in a good spot. He stays alive, still two and two. From the belt, the pitch. Line down the left field line. But this will be foul. He's set. Here's the 2 2. This is skied into short left center. Frazier has it, and I'd be surprised if they send the runner. And even with two outs now, they decide to hold that now runner at third. The second baseman. Stepping Jason. in, Jason Kipnis. Kipnis. He drew a base on balls his first time up. From the stretch, the 1 2. He's already walked two in this inning already. This guy just can't seem to find the strike zone. Here's the two and two. Three and two now. Wow, these guys are really grinding out their bats in this one. They're not making any outs easy to get. And that, of course, is having a huge impact on the pitch count. Now a ball hit in the air, and this looks like it'll get him out of it. And he'll get there in plenty of time to put this one away, and that ends the inning. Ready now, Gregory Polanco. He's 0 for 1 thus far. Now Lester deals the one two. He was looking for a swing and a miss breaker right there but left that one in the zone that got fouled off. 
This one's outside quite a bit off the plate that time. And this will miss down low in the dirt so he's worked it full now at three and two. Now the payoff pitch home. Heading out towards shallow right. Hayward has a read on it. One down. Stepping in, Jacob Stallings. He reached on a single in his first try. Both teams with just two hits apiece thus far. And it's fouled away. And he fouls this one off. Takes this the other way to right. That's in another base hit. He's two for two. Into the box, Cole Tucker. Now a fastball gets the upper part of the zone for strike two. Can't come out of his game plan right here. He knows he's a known sinker baller. I know it was a four-seamer right there, but get back to that two-seam. It's what his M.O. is. And that's going to get down in front of Hayward for a base hit. Now back, the pitcher. Oh, to the plate now, Chris Archer. And he pops up the bunt attempt. Bryant is there, and he makes the catch for the out. Digging in and looking for more, Kevin Newman. He scored after reaching on a single in his last time up. Yeah, and they take another single right here. That third base coach is dying to wave his arms. I wouldn't be surprised if anything hit hard through the infield. He's going to wave them. Hayward has a read on it, and that ends the inning. Next to hit will be the pitcher. John Lester comes into this at bat 0 for 1 in the ball game. A 1 and 1 count. Here's the pitch. Just behind the fastball there. Two strikes now. Hey, I can understand this batter's frustration right here. He's trying to be aggressive and get something going for his team. They are getting shut out in the fifth inning, but that's exactly why they're getting shut out. You need to keyhole and stay on the attack and make this pitcher come in the middle of the plate full count now swing and he pops him up Tucker ranging into the outfield he's there and records the first down and that brings up Javi Baez he flew out his first time around and then was a strikeout victim most recently 1-1 one, one. Now a swing, and he gets him to pop it up. Tucker ranges back, and he has it for route number two. Now back Here's Jason Hayward two. now. Hit the ball pretty well in his last at-bat, but it resulted in a line-out. Yeah, pretty unlucky right there, Matty. Squared up a fastball nicely, and that's all you can do. You just want to be on time for the heater, and he's prepared for this next A.B. The throw into second. The tag, and they'll get him at second, and with that, the side is retired. Into the box now, Adam Frazier. A bouncer up the middle. And the throw to first is in time, one gone. Striding in once again, Brian Reynolds. It was a walk in his last trip. 1-1 on its way from Lester. High in the air out towards shallow right. Hayward has a read on it, and he brings it in for the second out of the inning. So bases are empty here with two gone. And digging into bat next, the big bat of Josh Bell. It's two balls and a strike to Josh Bell. One run, four hits, and no errors so far for the Pirates. Heading out towards shallow right. And Hayward will make the catch, and that ends the inning. Now at the plate, Chris Bryant. He's 0 for 2 in the ballgame so far. 
This guy has been unbelievable. There were billboards outside Wrigley while he was still in AAA, and what does he do when he shows up? Rookie of the year, MVP. I mean, get in line. Two and two. They'd like to see a little bit more discipline than that. You get a count in your favor, he's swinging a pitch that bad? Not good. Swing and a miss on the slider, and that's out number one. Next to hit will be Wilson Contreras. It was a walk in his last trip. Now the one and one pitch. Bases are empty, one man out. Lifted out towards straightaway center field. Long run for the center fielder. He tracks it down and makes the play to record the second out. Now at the plate, Anthony Rizzo. He's one for two in this one. Just off the outside that time, laid off for a ball. Very impressive outing so far. His command has been spot on. Even when he misses his spot, it isn't out over the heart of the plate. He's throwing quality pitches. Changes up on him if that's in the dirt for a ball. One of the things you want to do with a starter, get that pitch count up. Here's another productive at bat as this count now gets to three balls and two strikes. Moran will put this one away and the side is retired. Bottom of the inning now. Settling in now, Colin Moran. He's hitless in his two at bats so far. Good curveball there gets the swing and miss. To two balls and two strikes now. Hit out towards second. Kipnis has it. No problem here. One away. Here's Gregory Polanco. Hit on the ground out to short. Baez has it. And there are two away now. Now at the plate, Jacob Stallings. Two base hits, both singles to this point. Bases are empty here with two men out. On the run, this one in on him, and he can't connect, so he finds himself down one and two now. It's been more than two innings since this guy's allowed anyone to reach. And we'll have to leave it there as this is strike three, and that will retire the side. Play. Kyle Schwarber. It was a walk in his last trip. Starting to run out of time. They haven't been able to score any runs as we're moving late into this one. A perfect time for this leadoff guy to try to get on base and ignite a rally. And he lays off ball four. So now the potential tying run here is aboard late in the game. Drilled right back up the middle. Reach to his backhand side at second, but this finds a way by. Onto the shortstop, but thrown away. Steven Brault is in out of the bullpen now as he'll be inserted into the number six spot following the double switch. Gerard Dyson will also come on now as he'll move into the pitcher's number nine hold in the order here on that double switch. So now to the plate, Jason Kipnis. Possibly tying and go ahead runs on base. Nobody out. Now here's one hit in the air to the right side. Newman backs up a bit and he takes charge for the first out. Nico Horner is into the on deck circle now as he'll pinch hit for the pitcher Lester. Line drive base hit. Throw comes in quickly now, so that tying run will be forced to hold on at third here, still with only one away. At the plate, Javier Baez hit hard on the ground at first. 
And he has delivered one of the biggest at bats of the afternoon as he cashes in with a base hit. Richard Rodriguez was called upon to pitch, really needing that double play ball. Bases are loaded here with only one man out. Stepping in now, Jason Hayward. And it's one and two. You can bet he wants that one back at the plate right now. That's a pitch you normally see a guy drive if he has the right approach going. Fouled away. Bases are loaded here, one man out. Line drive to center field. And that will get down as he delivers a big one here. It's a base hit. The throw is wild, and he gets away. The back. The third base hit. At the plate now, Chris Bryant. And it's two balls and two strikes now. And that misses, so it's a full count, three and two. This is where you got to empty the bucket out on the mound. Throw your best stuff right here, right now, and try and get out of this. If anything... Oh, a diving effort as it's off his glove. But the recovery is too late at first, and the run is in to score. The catcher, number four, Wilson, Contreras. Standing in now, Wilson Contreras. And he takes ball two, and it's two and one. Two balls and two strikes now. Not surprised he's laid on a heater right there. Just saw an off-speed pitch. Wanted to stay back a little bit too long. Slap hard the opposite way. A leaping try, but it's out of his reach and into the outfield. One run is scored. And the run will score all the way from first. It's 6-1. to one. Nick Birdie comes on to pitch here with one man gone in the top of the seventh. The first baseman. Anthony Rufo. Into the box, Anthony Rizzo. Up high, two and one now. Lifted the other way out to left center. Reynolds is on the move for it, but he's not going to get this one. It's into the gap. And to score, the runner from second. Now back, left field. So now to the plate, Kyle Schwarber. <laughs> to two balls and two strikes now. Fouled off. Seven runs have crossed the plate in the inning. Now a ball hit the center field and deep. Back goes the center fielder way back, and that ball is gone. In now, Ian Happ. Now an off-speed pitch well inside, and it forces him to bounce away from danger. It's clear he just hasn't been able to find any rhythm out there. Nope. Pretty much unable to hit any of his spots. And now he's at three and one, and he's put him into another great hitting count. The second baseman, Jason Kipman. The 1-1 one -one is outside for a ball. A long inning as they've hung a nine spot on him to this point. Grounded to first. Oh, and it eats him up a bit. There's one. But the feed to the pitcher is thrown away. Relay throw, but it'll be too late as he's well safe at first. The battle, number two, short shot. At the plate, Nico Horner. Count remains two and two. A runner on first with two away. Full count, three and two. Good spot for an RBI. Put the ball in play with the runner in motion. He could score all the way from first. Did a good job to shorten up and protect the plate, and he'll have another shot at it here. 
And he takes ball four. So a good job out of the nine hole in getting on base as we go back to the top of the order. Michael Feliz comes on to pitch now, hoping for better results than the other arms that they've run out there in this one. The 2 1 home. Two down, runners at first and second. And there is strike three. So after what seemed like an hour, the side is retired. Alec Mills gets the call from the pen to take over on the mound and start the home seventh. Number 30, Alec. Digging in, Cole Tucker, one for two in the ball game thus far. It doesn't look very promising so far in this one as we move into the later innings. Down by a bundle, it's time to get some base runners and hopefully a long ball to get them back into this one. The one two. Still a ball and two strikes. Would love to have a meeting at the mound right now with the pitcher. Don't understand that pitch down and in with a fastball with two strikes. Maybe he's looking for a ground ball. And a half swing that time, but it's a full swing in the eyes of the umpire, and that'll be the first out of the inning. The right fielder. The 1-1. One, one. This is line to left. Schwarber is in his tracks now as he makes the catch for out number two. So the Pirates batting now order back. turns Second over and set back. to go. Kevin, Kevin Newman, he singled earlier, making him Move one for back. two to this point. Now the one and one pitch. Chopped to third. And that Got will it. conclude matters here in the seventh. So that'll bring up Jason Hayward. A couple of singles for him in four trips for him this afternoon. And this ball runs away for ball two. Two and one. High in the air down the right field line. Dyson's there. Makes the play one away. Coming to the now plate now, Chris Bryant. He's one for Chris four for the game. Bryant. One out, nobody on. <laughs> Loud contact off the bat of Bryant and sent deep to left. And it's gone as they add still another. No surprise with that swing of the bat. This guy is simply one of the best in the game right now. There's not too many guys that take a beautiful hack like that in the league. Stepping in now, Wilson Contreras. And a fastball blew it right by him, and they're two down. Coming to the plate now, Anthony Rizzo. Two hits in four attempts to this point. Three and one. And when you're already down by a bunch, this is where a guy's got to take some responsibility out there and at least start throwing some strikes. Swung on, but fouled off to the left. Two out, nobody on. Hit hard down the left field line. But this one lands in the bullpen area, a foul ball. He'll try it again, three and two. And he looks nope. at one that misses, and that's an excellent job of making his man throw a lot of pitches as he toughs out a walk. The left fielder, Kyle uh, And he'll watch the fastball miss down low. It's two and one. Looks like that bomb earlier in the inning kind of put this pitcher on the defensive. Not being very aggressive right now. And this one is over, and he works the count back to two and two. Has a look, now the pitch. Swung on and chopped up the middle, and he'll go the short way to retire the side.
And that'll bring in Adam Frazier. 0 for 2 for him to this point. The 3 2 pitch. And he couldn't get on top of it as this has popped up behind shortstop. Therefore, it is Baez, and he's got it for the first out. Stepping in and ready for another shot, Brian Reynolds. It was a flyout for him in his last trip. The 1 2. Fly ball out to right field. And Hayward will put this one away for route number two. So two gone here in the Pittsburgh eight. And digging into bat next, the big bat of Josh Bell. Here's the one and one delivery. And now a curveball that's low and in the dirt for a ball. It's two and one. Two and two the count. Bases are empty here with two men out. And it's fouled away. Another 2 2 offering. Hit hard towards the hole. And this will get through into right, and he's aboard with a single. The bat, the third baseman. Moran. Standing in now, Colin Moran. Swung on and missed. One and two now. Swing and a miss, and that ends the inning. Stepping up to the plate, Ian Happ, two for three with a double on his line so far. The 1-1 one, one home. Turned on that one and crushed it, just pulled it a little foul. The 1-2. Mine to the right side. So he'll add one to his total as that falls in. He's got three hits in this one. With that, the Cubs get their leadoff man aboard. The second baseman, Jason Kipnis. To the plate now, Jason Kipnis. And he fouls this one off. A runner at first with no outs here. Pulled toward right center field. Dyson on the run. He gets to it and makes the catch for the first out. The pitcher, Alec now Mills, back. steps the up to the plate in a sacrifice Alec. situation. So Mills. let's see if that is indeed on right here. The 1-1 one, one home. Hit weakly back to the mound. The second for one. Here's Javier Baez and looking to improve on a one for five effort so far. The one one home is looked at off the plate for a ball. It's a high fly ball headed for the left field corner. If it stays fair, it's gone. And foul, though it had the home run distance. Two and two now to Baez. Come on. Three, two, two, two out, runner on first. Lots of possible outcomes on this pitch. Now the payoff pitch home. And this pitch misses for ball four. So that's going to move a runner into scoring position now with two away. Kyle Crick will come on to pitch here and he'll move into the number five spot in the lineup now on the double switch. Eric Gonzalez is into the ball game as well as a part of that aforementioned double switch as he'll take over in the number six spot in the lineup. Now playing third base. Fouled away. Number two, Eric Gonzalez. Looking to wiggle out of this. Here it is. And there's strike three. So we'll see now if they can manage to hold on to this huge lead as the side is retired. All set for the bottom of the ninth. Digging in now, Eric Gonzalez.
count is one and two now. Here's the pitch. And a check swing here, but the bat clearly breaks the plane as he set down for the first out. Now batting. Catcher. Into the box, Jacob Stallings. He went down on strikes last time up. The 1-1 one -one home. It's a fastball that misses. Two balls and two strikes the count to the Pirates catcher. Hard ground ball to third. And just past his outstretched glove into left, the base hit. The batter, number three. Good stop. Goal. Tucker. Into the box now, Cole Tucker. Uh, could have been three and one. Instead, it's two and two. That swing had one purpose, and that was to put the ball over the wall. I guess he doesn't have much to lose with his team down this many at this point in the game. Tough curveball that time, but he's able to make a little contact to keep this at bat going. And this one's in the dirt, but it won't skip away far enough for the runner to advance. Lifted down the line and left. And no one will track it down. A payoff pitch one more time. And he could only battle for so long as he's finally set down here after an eight pitch at bat. The right fielder, number seven. Now in the box, Gerard Dyson hit it hard but lined out in his first at bat. Yeah, Matty, but as he walks to the plate right here, he feels good building off that last A.B. He hit that ball on the screws. Down low, two balls and a strike. And there's a called strike two as now they're down to their final strike this afternoon. Pittsburgh down to their last strike. And he gets a round on one and hits it high and deep to straightaway right. Gone! Wick. Rowan Wick will make an appearance here as he is in charge of trying to ring up the final out of the ball game. So now to the play, Kevin Newman. And this is swung on and missed. So with that, they find themselves down to their final strike here this afternoon. Here's a fastball in on the fist, and that'll even things up at two and two. Swing and a miss. He struck him out, and that'll do it here as the ball game is over. If you want to know what this game was decided, that's easy. Look no further than the seventh inning. That big rally and the crooked number on the scoreboard proved to be all the difference. 10-3 at the end of this contest. The Chicago Cubs jumped ahead in the seventh inning and never gave the lead back. John Lester gets the win on the mound his first of the year. Chris Archer pitched well, allowing only two earned, but ends up taking the loss. So that just about does it for Mark DeRosa, Dan Plezak, Heidi Watney, and our entire crew. I'm Matt Vaskersian. You've been watching MLB The Show. For more, make your way over to theshownation.com. Here now is our final line score this afternoon. First for the victorious Chicago Cubs. Ten runs, 13 hits. No errors. They left 10 men on base. For the Pirates, three runs on seven hits. No errors. They left seven men on base. The winning pitcher is John Lester. His record is now one and two. The loss goes to Chris Archer. He falls to one and two. 
time of the ball.